So let's talk about the college internship program. Uh, first off, let's give let's give a little bit of uh, basics. How long has it been in existence, and where are these uh, centers located? Okay, it's 25 years to this last January, and I started it myself before I knew who I was, obviously. <laughs> and uh, and they are located the original centers in in Berkshires in uh, Western Massachusetts and Lee, Massachusetts. We started in Florida about eight years ago in Melbourne, Florida, and, and that's near the University of Central Florida and Bavar Community College and Florida Institute of Technology. And then we um, opened in Indiana, right near Indiana University and Ivy Tech Community College in about three or well, three and a half, four years ago. And then in California two years ago at near UC Berkeley and Berkeley City College, and there's about five or six other colleges right there. And so... Uh, our students attend those colleges if they want to. They can do that, and they also can do career internships, and that when they can do both. And we encourage them to do both. Because Temple Grandin says, you know, you have to build portfolios with these kids. You can't wait till they get out of college to start. They have to build up career skills because the problem with this population, as most people know who are listening to this, is that the unemployment rate and the underemployment rate, which is even more significant. In other words, people who are really smart who are doing bagging at a grocery store. Right. Very, very high. Now, do these students uh, live on their own, or do they have, is it a dorm-type situation? No, it's set up as real-life situations so that they have a budget, they pay rent, utilities, they have an apartment, they have their own room because we need them that they need that, and they have an apartment mate or one or two. It depends on which building they're living in. And they do everything as if they shop and do groceries. They do everything with a lot of assistance, and we help them with residential skills and recreational skills, et cetera. But it's very normative so that when they come out, they can really go and get an apartment and do the same exact process, and it just transfers like one-on-one. Uh, so that works really well. So what kind of internships do these uh, these young adults, uh, what kind of internships are available to them through your organization? Well, each student does a person-centered plan, which is we try to switch around. They, in high school, these kids went through IEP process, which is Individual Educational Plan, which is very adult-oriented, where the adults really tell the student what their life is going to be. In our program, they they during their summer orientation, they do a person-centered plan on a PowerPoint with their own pictures, music, et cetera, and they put their goals for five years, three years, six months, two months, down on there, and they, in each area, social thing, in their social area, in their uh, mining area, in their educational area, every area, and they put their goals out make it clear what they really want to go for. And what that does is then we allow them to then take their special interests and to do internships in that area. And they might find, like most young adults do, that they might be good at something else. Like I went for an English BA in college, and I ended up doing uh, community service with uh, at an orphanage working with children on the weekends. And I loved it so much that I decided to work with children rather than, you know, my English BA. So I think that, that these kids need to... You know, just because they've been told they're good at something, they tend to do that, and they might be really enjoy something else better. So what I'm getting from you is not only are you basically mentoring these, these uh, young adults on their college or their vocation, but you're also asking them, how do you want to improve as a person? Do you want to become socially more outgoing? And, and you're working with the whole person and not just with their education. Is that what I'm getting? It's totally important because a lot of the parents think if you just get that degree, they'll be fine in their, their earning capacity and all that. But the problem is if you don't work on the career area and the social area with it and the well-being issues, here's the well-being issues. Like a lot of these kids are addicted to, um, you know, gaming and computers and stuff, and they, uh, and, they, and they become couch potatoes left to their own devices. They'll just eat garbage and... They don't exercise, they don't take care, so it's, they have to be educated in those areas also. It's a holistic approach because they have to see the connection between those. If I stay up till 3 in the morning, I can't get up for my college class. If I don't eat right, then I get cranky or I can't 
concentrate on my afternoon classes, you know, whatever. So they have to really see these connections. And these kids, as brilliant as they are, like myself, I'm particularly thick, and I, and I am at least, and they're and regarding uh, and rigid regarding change. And once I was diagnosed eight years ago, I started to see change as my ally, and that I could use other people in an appropriate way to get information, to make good decisions, to partner with, to accomplish great things. So, uh, and that's why I have these centers because I was able to do that. If I was, uh, before that, I was not able to do that. Okay, so what we ha- what we really want to talk about today is this uh, two week summer program that you have available at Berkeley, and and give us a little bit of background on uh, on how these uh, young adults are going to benefit from this program and how they would get involved. Right, the um, summer program is for high school juniors and seniors, and it's set up at UC Berkeley this summer for a couple weeks, and you can go on our website, which is www.collegeinternshipprogram.com and you can see all of this and anything else you can also see me talking about the program if you want to learn more and it's pretty pretty comprehensive like our program but uh, this program we designed for uh, high school students to help them do a person center plan for transition into whether college or, or career and they can learn a little bit about each of our curriculum areas which are really important for them to be looking at with themselves and experience uh, each other in a social way, and also uh, just learn a whole lot about what college is going to be like, or what independent living and and, and adult, uh, you know, their adult years are going to be like. So it's going to help them as a transition. It's also a, a very uh, a lot of fun, a lot of really nice areas to explore in, in, in the Berkshire. I mean, the Berkeley area. And so they're going to do a lot of fun things too. So now, is there uh, is there a, a certain number of kids that can go to this, right. and is so there assistance? We have more than half full for that program. Now, is there assistance for you know uh, my wife and I being parents of four children, one of them uh, autistic? Uh, finances are an issue. Are there are there availabilities to scholarships and uh, what have for you? For regular programs, there are. For our summer program, I don't believe. There is, and that's like a, that's a more minimal cost than than the regular programs. For our regular programs, we have uh, some financing options. We have our, we started a student educational de- uh, development fund, which is a um, they can uh, apply to that to get scholarship money, and um, and we look at all of those when people apply to try and help them out. Okay. Our program is very individualized, so. When students apply, we have levels of support. We worked with consultants and parents around the country over the last couple of years to develop, to redefine our programs so that when someone comes in, if they need more support, they can get that, and then they can move down the support, and that, that goes financially also. As they go through the program, they can actually even be on a college campus still in our program. Like at Indiana University, they could be in the dorm and still be on you know, level five or six of our program and still receive services. So um, we, we designed it so that, or they can be in an apartment with a job and uh, transitioning from our program and still be receiving services. So we tried to make it like a, um, you know, there's a flow through the program and it's based on what their needs are and what supports they need.